Hi, I'm Mike from Scoutadelic, and how can you make a tasty campfire apple? Find out. Hi, I'm Mike from Scoutadelic, and today I'm going to show you how to make campfire apples. But before you do, 70% of you aren't subscribed, which means you need to scroll down and check. Red button, click it. It's free. It means the world if you would and also it means if you ring that bell that you get notified for all of our cool fun content that might inspire you so go on click it otherwise I'm going to show you how to make some campfire apples so what you need is apples some raisins brown sugar you can also have some walnuts in there okay and finally you want some foil okay so, and a campfire, obviously. You can also do this indoors as well. So if you are back to doing it on Zoom, again, all those ingredients, but you can do it in the oven. Boom, simple. So what you need to do, first of all, is you need to take the core out of the apple. Now you can do this many different ways, or you can simply buy an apple core and do it that way. And just like that, you now have an entire hole Ooh. through your apple. And that's what you need, really. If you don't like apples, you can also do it with peaches, but you don't, I don't think there's a peach thingy. I don't know, never done it with peaches. Then once you've got a nice hole through your apple, all the way through and getting rid of any pips or anything like that, then you need, you need to get your foil and wrap your apple up, leaving the top uncovered. Once you've done that, then you need to put in some raisins. And you're going to put the raisins, so you don't want to fill it all up, you just want obviously around about a handful, handful of raisins. Just wash them down a bit. So now you've got a few raisins in there, then what you need is some brown sugar. And that wants to go into the middle as well. So a bit of brown sugar. And then finally, you're gonna pack some more raisins in there. I'm not eating a raisin, honest. And then, it should look like that. So it's, it's raisins, some brown sugar, and then raisins again. Now some people actually put a little bit of butter in, other people put some walnuts and mix that with obviously your raisins and your brown sugar. And the same applies with your peaches. A peach is probably a lot sweeter and you do this, but you can do it with apples, okay? And then just back it up and stick it in the embers of your fire. Or alternatively, stick it in a very nice warm oven. So once it's come out of the oven, you're looking at around about, I'd say, maybe 20 minutes, depending on obviously the, the setting. You want it nice and soft, tasty. Oh, it smells gorgeous though. And then, and then tuck right in. And here you have it, campfire apples. Easy, simple, you can do it with peaches. I don't know if you can do it with pears. Try it out, who knows? There we are. If you like this video, then don't forget to obviously give it a like, and I'll see you again soon for something tasty like this. Bye.